Hey guys, welcome back to my second vlog on the channel today. Anyway though, this is a different experience for people that can't come inside the boxes or people that don't live in Newcastle. He has a chance. What is it like inside a player's box on a match day? What kind of experiences do you get? Really excited to get this one recorded. So as always guys, I make sure to try to bring uh, the best possible content on YouTube for you guys that Newcastle United related. But yeah, without further ado though, know, let's get into it. On our way up. Oh, there we are. I'm sorted. After a minute, I'm All these guys look buggies in there. Wow. Wow. There's all the flags set up. You know what? I love that. I love that. So we can sit anywhere around there then. There we are. That's the fridge for the match. The corners in there. We help us out with some of them. The first set of foods here go all in. The fish food down there. Oh. <laughs> Inside. So that's what we've had so far. We've had the uh, ones at the top. For my main, I think I'm going to have the chicken and shit, so I'm not too sure about the New York ones. So, yeah. uh, half time you get a cheese ball, and at full time you get mini pie and bushy peas. So, I right, do some menu there. There's a little message as well from the club in the match, too. Considering that we're on the wine list, yeah. Get a number of buzzes, sure, we never win anything. <laughs> not cheap the wine, Zay. That's the main course, yeah. That's bit of chicken, to be fair. So the tail was for carrots and that. I think if he calls it. See, I don't know where it would go. Nice looking man, that. That's how the steam looks for the game. I miss some of the players come before actually they kind of just walk along there and they go inside the tunnel. Yeah, I literally just get my main course before, so I have missed them. It's just so cool to see it before a match, the, apps, the actual build it before a game. It's just, yeah, really good job by War Flags, by the way. Be some serious pressure getting all the flags at the time. So, this is how the seats are for the game. Yeah, really comfy seats. I mean, just look how thick they are. Yeah, be unreal watching out towards the Gallagher there. Yeah, that's what it's like when you Alright, so the boxes are going all the way along there. Mind the stay for the game. Just sit that TV section just next to those two jerks there. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what kind of celebrities will be sitting in these seats down there. Alright, for now we're going to go get us a trainer. Nice looking couch in the corner, yeah. I hope we start with some of the biscuits, yeah. Ringtons as well, not too bad. Oh, right, over there we've got the ice cubes then. Just next to Bice, yo, we've got the fridge. There's decent drinks in there, the soft drinks are free, so I can help myself at the moment. I think the bottle's about £4.80. Got some wine bottles there, I suppose. So. Aye, good little collection. Yeah. Coffee there, like I said before, the betting slips on. Uh, it's a badge you get for the game as well as the programme. Oh, it's a decent little badge, definitely want to keep in your collection. Alright, uh, so the desserts for the game today. That looks nice. Jesus. What's the time for comeback when you can roll your board on the table? Can't be. Five star review. It's almost German. So, we've got the half time draw. Newcastle Foundation will get like everybody is engaged and stroked. Like, yeah. yeah. we'll try and win £500 and we'll buy it. Yeah. The 23, Jacob Murphy. Starting the pack up now. The Take him a day. Steve Riffs, he's just down there. Quite well known in the fan base. Uh, my dad had my seat ticket there, which was just all the way down there. That's been the match in eight years, so I thought I'd let him come to this one. So he's in the best of putting for the game, guys. So 1 0, 2 0, Newcastle. I'm not too sure how it's going to go, but I think it will be a clean sheet. John George Shelby to score first, and the R2 got down here. So the goal to be in the 56th, to, oh, sorry, the 51st to 60th minute. And we've got a pretty special on there, Joe Willock, just in case. Hopefully, at least Warden comes in, but uh, I'm confident in this game, Newcastle, especially with how Brighton have been playing lately. I think they've got a good chance of really. Ending that jinx against him, so fingers crossed for the other bets I've stuck on for this match. Incredible. 
Ukraine. We call for peace and our thoughts are with all those who have been impacted. This will be Jesus. If you love the tune, stands up. 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 I'll do it for you. Cheese board now, cheese and crackers. <laughs> right. So never take me anywhere. Right? Right? No, no, don't bring him again. Uh, yeah, it's a life lesson for everyone. Don't bet. First 15 minutes, I lost all my bets straight away. Who cares? One in two now. Great Harbour football has continued. Uh, Matt Ritchie for the game, actually. He's just behind you, and I see you sit next to Mark Gillespie. So, yeah, uh, not the box today, but again, I appreciate his box as a whole. Really nice. Keep eyes going up. Richie's box, what is it like in a match day? Yeah, really good. So thank you, Matt Richie, for the hospitality. He enjoyed watching the game down at Mark Gillespie. We invaded his box today. Yeah, the win was good. I didn't think the performance was anything special, but who cares? We're now seven points clear of third bottom. I didn't realise it was that far now, seven points. One, I even dreamed of that a couple weeks ago, so very happy with that one. I think it's a very safe spot now. I mean, we've still got games hand in the team below as well, so I think Newcastle are safe as it stands. we still got to get results, don't get me wrong, but really, really promising stuff. Newcastle, I mean, aye. That's the kind of performance where, no, to be play well, not, not particularly, but again, we get the results in, it doesn't matter. And on a good day, we will be picking up those wins, so that was a huge one. Uh, Brighton, the jinx is now over, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoy watching a different vlog there. What is it like being inside a player's box in a match day? What an experience that was, really enjoyed it. Highly recommend anyone if you can afford to go in there. Yeah, definitely recommend it. And again, my dad hasn't been to a match in eight years, so if I do get the opportunity to do this, I will do this at times so you can come watch the game as well. Yeah, uh, fully enjoyed.